Hey guys, it's Philip Whiteley and today we're going to talk about Google Maps and how you can use it to make you some money. And we're starting right now. Hey guys, this is Philip with Life Without Boundaries. And if you're new to this channel, this is a channel we talk about ways to make money online, how to grow a business online, and just different things that you can do to supplement your income to help relieve you from the financial boundaries in your life. And if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification because we release videos three times a week. Now in my marketing agency that I run, I use Google Maps all the time for prospects to look and see what people are missing and things and services that I can provide for them. If there's somebody that has a really ugly or outdated website, I, that's a prospect for me to be able to email and reach out and see if I can make a sale. Also, I look for different businesses on Google Maps that have certain things in their profiles that really stand So when you get into Google, first thing you want to do is you kind of want to pick a niche. I talk about this in some of my other videos, um, but if you want to make money with businesses online, you really need to stick with one area that you can kind of learn about that profession and, um, and get a better understanding of the things that they need from you as a marketer or as somebody who just wants to uh, make some money with their business. So if you're trying to build out a website for, uh, let's say, a plumber, but you don't know much about plumbing, you're not going to be able to write good articles or plug in different uh, links that relate to plumbing that people are going to want to know. So you need to do a little bit of research or even just do something that you're passionate about. So um, let's just say, let's start off with dentists. You know, that's really easy niche. So we're going to say dentist in, I'm click the search bar. Dentist, sorry, I'm a terrible typer. Dentist in Boston. So what comes up here, obviously you got the ads first. These are people that are paying agencies to run ads for their business. So that's one thing that we're going to talk about in the future, running some Facebook ads and some Google ads to help uh, businesses make money because that's what I'm doing. And what you want to do is you want to come down to the natural listings here in uh, on the map pack. Now, if you click more places, obviously the ones at the top are the ones that are the highest ranked. So they, they're the ones that might not need the most help. So what you want to do is, is you want to start clicking these and you want to start finding ones that have a uh, certain thing in the prof in this profile here that says uh, no do you own this business now this says know this place answer quick questions but right here if they didn't register their business with Google yet it's gonna say own this business question mark so what you need to do is you need to try and find one that has that Ooh, right here own this business so Boston University Dental Healthcare didn't register with Google yet and what Google does is it gives businesses a certain amount of time before they start removing businesses from their map listing so if this person doesn't claim their listing and they may not even know how to do it but if they don't do it then Google's gonna remove their business from Google Maps and people are not gonna know they're in business and that's something that you can tell these business owners uh, to get them to pay you to do this now you can offer um, you can offer about $100 just to help verify their business because most of the time they won't even know how to do that and they're too busy running their business. So if you can get them to pay you, you know, you can go ahead and it's really, it's really easy, sorry, excuse me, to do this. You'll just click here and what you do is you just click on manage now and it's going to give you, um, just a couple of information like the phone number and the address of the business, things that you can find out from the owner and they will, and you just submit it and then Google will send them a verification code in the mail, not email, just actual mail. So when they see that you did what you told them they would do and they receive that postcard in the mail, then you'd be able to, uh, you'd have your foot in the door to be able to do different things. Um, so this guy here um, doesn't know how to verify his business so let's check out his website he may not have too good of a website so where was it boston university dental 3.3 yeah that's this one so let's click on the website now first thing i notice is that this is really really cluttered okay lots of things and this is huge people this is kind of intrusive it's it's really big and pops out and it's kind of hard to find what you're looking for um, and then they just have this wall of text 
Like people really don't care about this. When they come to our website, they want to know what you're offering. They want to know, uh, you know, what, how much it is, when you're open, where you're located at. So all of this just like history stuff, like it's just, it's just pointless. Like the customer doesn't want to see that. So they may take pride in it, but the website is meant to attract customers. And so if, if they come to your website and they have all this stuff, it's like, I just want to know, you know, what time they're open. Like you'd have to find like frequently asked questions, maybe. And so like they have to just go through all this stuff. Whereas instead you could just build a website that has like their map listing on like on the front page. It shows where it's at, when it's open, and then talk about the services and things like Sometimes, like these people who build out websites don't really understand the importance of doing what the customer wants to see. So this would be a good example of just shooting them an email and you know, maybe you can go through their contact form and just, you know, like, hey, I noticed your website is really crowded or, um, or even after you get their listing verified form, you can talk to them about their website and change this up. And, and guys, you don't even have to be, you don't have to know how to build websites. Like you don't even know how to, have to do that. If you get them to pay you up front, you can go to a, a website like Fiverr and people just find somebody that will do it for cheap. Like websites go for, like if you sell yourself off as a professional, which you are, you know, you're a marketer, you're, you're presenting yourself as a marketer and you're, you're applying a service that they need, but businesses use middlemen all the time. So like you're the middleman between them and what they want you go to freelance site, website design. Look, I'll create a professional looking website design starting at $15. You can get them, you can charge them $1,500 for you to do, redo their website. And then somebody would come in and do it for $15. Now they have different packages. It says starting at 15. Uh, let's just click out of this for now. Premium $70. You're still making a huge profit. So this, you know, we talk about, you know, optimization, social messaging, 10 pages, a lot. It's just basically everything that they need. And you just go in, contact this person, talk to them up front, tell them what you want, and then they will produce that website for you. And then you go back to your client, and they're happy with what you're doing, and then you continue to do other things for them. So this is one way that I use Google Maps to really just kind of look for businesses to try and find in my area that need services like this because they're missing out on clients. And the, and the point is, if you approach somebody and be like, hey, uh, do you want a new website? They're gonna tell you no, because they have a website. But if you say, hey, I notice you're losing out on clients. I'm like, uh, I found out a way that you can get more clients and that you're leaving some on the table and you're missing out and your competition's picking them up. That's gonna gain their interest. That's something you'd wanna say in an email. What you need to do is, is you need to go find you know a better looking, let's go to the top. Let's go to the top one. So Boston Dental 4.7. This might have a better looking website. Sometimes they don't. Let's see. Okay, already. Picture smaller. That's good. Less menus. Really quick. Cosmetic dentistry, dental services. It's much more um, it's much more streamlined. So it gives you all, most information on one page. Now some of this text is hard to read. But that's okay. This is the number one. And look, they have a map and hours front page. What did I say earlier? So you can go ahead and you can screenshot these. Hey, look, Boston Dental, your main competitor, has all the stuff that I'm telling you to do on your web, uh, to the, their website. You need to change this up because they are beating you right now. And that would really kind of light a fire under them to say, okay, maybe he is right. Maybe he's just not trying to sell me things. Maybe I really do need to figure this out. So there is a formula to all this, guys, and there's there's ways to that businesses need to think to um, try and be better than everybody else. Because essentially, the dentists here went to the same, you know, had the same education, have the same skill set as any other dentist. Like the only difference between them and the other one is branding. Like for real, like like all dentists do the same thing. And, you know, and, and some of them do it better than others, but majority of the time, if you're going to a dentist, they're going to give you the same quality uh, service as another dentist down the road. And the thing that separates them is branding. How well are they doing their stuff? How well are they doing um, 
their marketing and things. So this is one way that you can use Google Maps to make some money. There are some other ways we're going to talk about in the future. But right now, if you are interested in some videos to help you make some quick money, i got a playlist right here. You go ahead and click that and watch some of those videos. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like if you did. I'll see you guys next time.